Hey everyone, I hope you're doing okay. I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been doing with the initiative, the EV project, alongside the Jeep EV conversion. And my goal is to really inspire people around the world to take on projects for sustainability. And I focused on essentially connecting with students in multiple organizations, such as Think Ahead, and the YMCA to teach students about sustainable engineering across the globe. And along with my experience with the GPV conversion project, I really want to spread knowledge about how we can reduce pollution and apply electrical and mechanical engineering to help the world become a healthier and a cleaner place. So this is all at the website for the EV project, which is theevproj.org. So if you would like to go check it out so here's a little bit about why i took on the gpv conversion project and this broader initiative of inspiring students with sustainable engineering and a little bit also about how you can make a difference carbon emissions are one of the biggest causes of climate change this is because carbon dioxide rises up into our earth's atmosphere and traps heat this means that the more carbon dioxide is in the air the warmer our Earth is going to become, causing consequences we, as we are already seeing today, such as wildfires, rising sea levels, and droughts. The crazy part is that the transportation industry makes up 7.3 billion metric tons of output per year, and therefore we need to stop this. I'm converting my car to electric to reduce my carbon footprint. EVs reduce carbon emissions because they do not have big combustion engines that burn fossil fuels, which release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But this is just one small solution, and your project can help in a different way. Importantly, carbon emissions can come from many different things, other than transportation, and it is also necessary to focus on reduction in these other areas. For example, while electric cars themselves do not emit CO2, the power plants that generate electricity for them do. Natural gas and coal power plants release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Therefore, it's important to look at designing new ways of creating energy. To do this, one might look at harnessing the kinetic energy in the natural world around us, such as generating power from the sun, wind, or water, or even exercising. Solar panels which harness energy from the sun are a really popular solution to this problem. Windmills are also used to harness wind energy to turn a motor that generates electricity, and hydroelectric dams which release water pressure to turn a turbine generate electricity in that respect as well. The second problem I aim to solve with my project is waste. EV conversions allow the use of recycled parts and materials in order to avoid waste. For my car, I'm able to use a recycled motor from another electric car conversion as well as batteries from another electric car. This avoids the mining of rare earth materials that are used to make new electric car parts, such as the magnets within electric motors. One of the most significant issues with electric cars being manufactured currently is in the materials used to make electric motors. Electric motors, and therefore electric cars, often rely on powerful magnets to run, like I said before. And this has caused manufacturers to turn to rare earth materials, such as neodymium, to make them. Not only are these materials rare, Mining materials such as neodymium can cause negative environmental effects through a byproduct called thorium, a radioactive element that can actually harm the environment. Because I was able to repurpose an old Jeep with a broken engine, this also avoids the car itself going to the junkyard and creating toxic waste through unanty chemicals such as engine fluid. In both of these ways, I'm able to reduce waste with my EV conversion. This is an example that your project does not need to merely focus on reducing carbon emissions or focus on transportation at all. It can focus on another issue that needs to be solved to help the environment. This can be anything from reducing food waste or trash and making natural habitats cleaner to finding ways to reduce water consumption or ensure cleaner water and air for people to drink and breathe. One current solution is reusing gray water to reduce overall water consumption or reducing food waste also reduces the emission of methane gases, which rise up into the atmosphere as well. There are a lot of ways in which you can help the environment. 
All it takes is an idea and a motivation to make something happen.